I'd uh, like to invite uh, several of our dignitaries to come and bring greetings, uh, brief greetings, and I'd like to start with our MP for London North Centre, uh, Susan Truppe, to bring greetings on behalf of the Government of Canada. Thank you very much. It's an honour to be here in my riding of London North Centre, standing beside the Holy Roller. But we are here on the anniversary of the Normandy landings to give gratitude to the men and women of the First Hussars. Last night I had an opportunity to meet some of the veterans. And if it weren't for you, I would not be standing here, nor would anyone else. You gave your life and your time so that we would have a free country. On behalf of the Government of Canada, my colleagues Ed Holder and Joe Preston, myself, I say thank you. Thank you for all, all you've done. Thank you to the families and thank you to the fallen heroes, lest we forget. Thank you, Ms. Trippe. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call upon uh, Acting Mayor Matt, Br Matt Brown, who will bring greetings from his worship, uh, Mayor Joe Fontana, who could not be with us today, and he is uh, joined today in representation from the City of London by Councillors Dale Henderson, Stephen Orser, and Sandy White. Councillor Brown. Thank you. On behalf of the Mayor, the Councillors present, the Councillors who could not be present in the entire City of London, I want to say thank you. On June 6th, 1944, thousands of Canadian soldiers made history. And today, 68 years later, we pay tribute to their collective bravery and their determination. D-Day marked a turning point in the Second World War, a turning point that cost the lives of valiant men who never wavered in their mission, who stepped courageously onward in the face of the enemy and summoned a strength we can only imagine. Many made the ultimate sacrifice for their families and their country and for those of us who stand here today. Their selfless actions allow us the freedoms and quality of life we enjoy as Canadians. We mourn them, we honour them, we remember them. And as my grandfather, who served as a second lieutenant with the Queen's Own Rifles in World War II, instilled upon me we thank them. Thank you. I'd now like to call upon the Honorary Consul of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Dr. Richard Chavrook, to offer remarks. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, proud members of the regiment, Colonel Brown, Colonel Maas, and all the dignitaries. The Dutch like to be prepared. We have in front of you, in front of us, the new honorary colonel, uh, the new honorary as a colonel for the year 2050. <laughs> He's going to make a speech. We have prompted him, but he refuses to do so. Anyhow, this is Freddy, Colonel Freddy for the year 2050. Son of Colonel Maas. We just gave him an instruction on how to change a diaper. <laughs> it's a real pleasure to stand here again listen, on this uh, celebration, commemoration, uh, thinking about the, the, the proud history that the first Hussars that really have behind them. It takes several years, several times standing here, to really sort of as a catch on to that how glorious your past is. For 130, 140 years so that you have been in existence, when you read over this, so that the huge list this, so that of, of honors this, so that you have acquired, including of course this, what you've done this, for the lowlands, for the Netherlands, this, so that the lower mass and Arthur door and all names that sound very familiar to you, I need to again reiterate and again tell you how happy, how thankful, how grateful the Dutch are for what the, so that the Canadian soldier, the first Hussars, etc., have done for the Dutch. 
There's a saying in Dutch and it's called Klein maar fijn. If you translate it, it means small but beautiful. Last night I learned this is that the, your regiment, this is one of the very, the smaller ones, the first Hussars. But this is that your record is disproportionate this is that to your particular size and regiment. And therefore, again, this on behalf of the Dutch, what you have done, this is that is, will never be forgotten, including little tykes such as Freddie Maas, who has his famous Dutch background, of course. And we would like to thank you for the future, so that you continue, so that your honorable so that actions and endeavors on behalf of the Dutch, on behalf of the Dutch that's here in this area, of course, thank you very much. We've also received uh, greetings from the Consul General of the French Republic in Toronto, the Honorable Jérôme Cochard, with whom I spoke earlier this week, and he asked to convey, on behalf of the French uh, President, the esteemed pleasure that it was for him to receive an invitation to be here today, and he regrets that he could not. And of course, is saluting the veterans who, as he put it in my discussion with him, are liberators and ensure that generations of French continue to live in peace because of their sacrifice and their efforts. And I just convey that on behalf of Monsieur Cochard today.